Hey, what's up? Rusty Timber back working on a new project here on the bench. Uh, it's a shelf. It's got three shelves. It's going to be about five feet um, wide, about 12 inches deep, and about three feet tall. Uh, made out of really cool old rusty rustic wood that we dug out of the shed uh, a couple days ago. Uh, it's a project for somebody. Some uh, Somebody requested this. Uh, so that is awesome, and I appreciate that. Um, also, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that likes all of my videos and my pictures and uh, all of that. It really does mean a lot to me um, just to know that somebody actually cares. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I wanted to give you guys a little idea of what I uh, go through sometimes with this old wood. So, <clears throat> it's awesome wood and I want to use it, um, but sometimes it splits into pieces when I cut it to the sizes that I need. For instance, I've got one, two, three, four, four pieces uh, uh, clamped up on my bench here right now. Um, I'm out of clamps. You can never have too many clamps, but clamps are expensive. Um, but I've got four pieces clamped up right now uh, that I'm gonna leave overnight, let them glue back together. Here's a picture of one piece that happened today. Um, so you can see that uh, it split and, it, and then we uh, glued it back together, clamped it up and uh, you'll never even notice, right? After I get this project done, you'll never know that that thing split in half. Um, so anyway, uh, that's it. I'll, I'll, you know what? Pick this thing up and show you guys real quick. There's one. It's clamped up. Here's one that's clamped up. Here's one that's clamped up. This is actually a really cool piece that's ready to go. It's not split. But then we've got this guy here that's all clamped up. This is the one that's split in half. Um, and also, you can check out this. I'll, I'll do another video on this one, but uh, this uh, rot spot. Yeah, it's a rot spot. Anyway, we're going to seal that up and you'll never even you'll never even know because for one it's going to be on the bottom and for two it's going to be sealed up and uh and never have a problem with it again so anyway go make some sawdust guys later